As society becomes more accepting of LGBTQ plus individuals, discussions surrounding homosexuality and religion have become more prevalent. One question that arises is what is the Islamic view on homosexuality? The short answer is that homosexuality is considered a sin in Islam. The Quran and Hadith, which are the primary sources of Islamic law, condemn homosexuality as a moral corruption and a deviation from the natural order. However, this does not mean that Muslims should hate or discriminate against those who identify as LGBTQ+. In fact, the Quran teaches that all people are equal in the eyes of Allah, regardless of their sexual orientation. Muslims are instructed to treat everyone with respect and kindness, and to not judge or ostracize individuals based on their sexual preferences. It's important to note that homosexuality is not unique to modern times. Historical accounts suggest that same-sex relationships and desires were present in pre-Islamic Arabia, which is the context in which the Quran was revealed. Islamic scholars have debated the issue of homosexuality for centuries, with varying interpretations and opinions. Some scholars argue that while the Quran does not explicitly prohibit same-sex relationships, it does prohibit sexual acts outside of marriage. Since marriage in Islam is between a man and a woman, any sexual activity outside of this union is considered a sin. This interpretation means that a Muslim can have same-sex desires, but should abstain from acting on them. Other scholars argue that the Quran does explicitly condemn same-sex relationships as immoral and unnatural. They point to verses such as, Do you approach males among the worlds and leave what your Lord has created for you as mates? Quran 26-165-166, as evidence of this condemnation. Despite these differences in interpretation, the general consensus among Islamic scholars is that homosexuality is a sin. However, it's important to remember that Islam also teaches compassion and empathy towards all people, including those who identify as LGBTQ+. Discrimination and violence towards the LGBTQ community goes against the principles of Islam. As Muslims, it's important to strive towards creating a safe and welcoming space for everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation. We should also focus on having open and honest discussions about these sensitive topics, while keeping in mind the importance of treating all individuals with respect and kindness. In conclusion, while homosexuality is considered a sin in Islam, it is important to approach this topic with compassion and empathy. As Muslims, we should strive to create a welcoming and inclusive environment for all individuals, regardless of their sexual orientation. Allah.